Hi, I'm Martin Smith, and today I'm going to introduce you to five horses to look out for over the coming months. Well, I may as well start at the beginning. This is Ozzy's Dancer, a horse I first trained back in 2013 when I first set up here in Newmarket. Ozzy's been through the war over the years, but we've had some great days out with him. He ran in Tony McCoy's last ever race at Sandown, which was a fantastic day out for the owners, and he's also won a couple of really good handicap hurdles. He recently come back from injury and he's doing really well at the moment. He's also had a wind up, which at this stage of his life I think will really help him. So hopefully he'll be back in the winner's enclosure again soon. I'm sure most people know Affluence. He's been out plenty over the last few years. He won his first race this year at Lingfield, won it by seven lengths in the end, did really well. And then that was shortly followed by his first run over hurdles in which he was fourth at Huntingdon. He showed that he's probably got more talent as a hurdler than he did on the flat. Now, that doesn't mean we won't run him on the flat again, but it looks like his next start will be over hurdles. And I'm sure we'll have lots more fun with him yet. Well, Roman River is one of our stable stars. He's currently rated 90. He was a winner at Haydock last year under Sylvester de Souza and has already been second this season at Newmarket. I'm really looking forward to his next run and the rest of the summer really think he can have some great days out of this horse. Well this is Mr Tickle. He's coming to the end of his first season as a national hunt horse for us. Uh, we bought him in November from the Cheltenham sales and in his very first race for us it looked like he was going to win and he unseated Tom Cannon three out when he was travelling like the winner and then he had a couple of runs since and he's run really well. He's got a handicap mark now and he'll be out again soon I'm really looking forward to seeing what he can do in the future. Now here's one you definitely won't recognise because he's never raced before. This lad's a four-year-old called Friends Don't Ask and he's really the type of horse that we're starting to specialise in. Over the last couple of years we've, we don't have many bumper horses but two of them have made it to the Cheltenham Festival and we've got Arch, my boy, who has come on since then, done really well over hurdles, and he's entered in the sales next week and expected to do really well. Um, and from my side, I definitely want to get more horses like this. Fair enough, they take a bit of time to bring on, but they're so, so rewarding when they come good. And they're just lovely horses with great natures. Lovely horses to spend time with. Now the five horses I've featured are just a small portion of everything we have here at Liberty Stables. But crucially, everything we have here at Liberty Stables is only a small portion of what we really need if we want to compete at top level on a consistent basis. So this is a call out for any owners, people who previously owned a share in the horse. If you've owned a share once and you had a bad experience, I promise you, you come to us, we will make sure you enjoy racing again. And if people already own a horse that you think could be doing better than they are at the moment, if you think that, then they probably can. And bring them to us, I promise, we will give them the best care and get the best out of them that we possibly can. Obviously, plenty of people don't own a horse or aren't in a position where they can have a horse or a share of a horse. But for those people, if you could please just share this video and help us spread it as far and wide as you can, I'd really, really appreciate it. 